nation game? Yeah, Alex, that's a great question. The, uh, the toughest thing to do um, in, in a regional format is to come back after a tough loss. You know, we, we used up a lot of uh, emotional, mental, physical energy in that first game facing Fouts and a very good Alabama team. And to come back in, in the second game and, uh, you know, play a tough opponent like Troy, who, who really, you know, played a heck of a game and uh, give a lot of credit to their pitcher. Um, you know, after seeing Fouts for seven innings, throwing 72 and moving the ball and then facing uh, the Troy pitcher tonight, threw us off balance, you know, and, and she did a great job of, you know, holding us down. And, and uh, you know, we didn't play our A game, but you don't make it to a championship game of regionals without a pitching staff. And we needed Millie and Reagan to suck up some innings in that game. And they did, they, they, they pitched their butt off and it wasn't like they pitched bad. Um, we just felt like that we needed to make some changes to throw their hitters off so we could give ourselves a chance with Valerie at the end of the game. So very proud of our pitching staff and the way they handled this game. And then, you know, to have Mojo come off the bench with a huge double to spark us, just a phenomenal job. And, you know, we, we, we made some great defensive plays and we had some blunders defensively today, but when you're, when you're tired and, and you're a little bit uh, gassed, sometimes those things happen, but I love the way our team didn't elect, uh, let that affect us. We fought through those mistakes and found a way to win this game against a very tough Troy team to give us an opportunity to play for a regional championship tomorrow. What does it say about and, and your pitching staff that Millie and Reagan as freshmen are able to come in and pitch some big innings for you and, and get you a spot in a region championship? Yeah. You know, like I said, we, we, we're not playing tomorrow without Millie and Reagan. You know, there's no way Valerie can go seven tonight and, and then, uh, you know, expect her to shut down that offense again for the second time in a row. They, they saw her yesterday and, and, uh, you know, I thought they had some pretty good at bats against her even late in this game. But, uh, you know, for Millie and Reagan to suck up those first, you know, four or five innings for us in that in that game was huge. Coach, you mentioned Mojo's big pinch hit uh, leadoff double there. Um, she seems like she's been a fan favorite all season. Um, she started a handful of games this year, but uh, batting 350, uh, really good average, especially for a freshman. What what makes her such a, a, a good um, pinch hitter even as a freshman? Well, you know, she's Mojo's been through a lot. She was a starter last year, and she uh, tore ACL in the fifth game of the season and just had a, you know, a really long recovery with her knee. And, and uh, the team, I think, has seen how hard she has worked and uh, to improve as a player and to get her knee in, into playing shape. And, you know, this year I think she's a fan favorite because she always comes in off the bench and gives us a great at-bat, you know, and, and a lot of her hits this year have been huge pinch hits. And that's one of the toughest things to do in our sport is to come off the bench and, uh, you know, pinch hit in some tough situations. But we've, we've utilized her in that role, and she's come bit up big for us. And um, tonight was no different. She's just a, a great teammate and, and somebody that the team rallies behind. So when she succeeds, it's just even that much more uh, of a good feeling. Coach Zach Wagner with Tiger Net. Uh, in the in the seventh, when you went out and you talked to your defense, uh, what what was the message to them, and uh, what did you say to to Valerie in the circle? Well, the biggest thing is, is you know, we we kind of shot ourselves in the foot a little bit and didn't make sure of an out. You know, after the girl got the leadoff hit, um, I just went out there to calm them down and said, "Listen, those those two runners mean absolutely nothing. We've got to make sure we focus on on keeping the hitter off of second base and getting outs and." and not panicking in that situation. And I think we did a great job of that. And Valerie did a good job of, of uh, battling that tough uh, first baseman, you know, that kept fouling the pitches off of that at bat. Valerie didn't give in and end up getting her out. So that was a huge, huge out in that inning. Coach, the uh, throw by JoJo that went into center field uh, to, to score their run um, was on a ball four, but it looked like it could have easily been a, a, a called strike. Is that what JoJo was thinking? Was, was she thinking it was going to be a strike on that throw? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, that was one of those plays where we just weren't on the same page. JoJo's doing her job. She, she can't assume that the ball is going to be called a strike or a ball. 
and she thought it was a good pitch. And then we got to make sure we, we don't let that ball get in center field. And, and uh, that that's kind of a one of those mistakes that we made to kind of cost us. But uh, it, it's a tough play. I mean, it is because it's it's uh, you know it could be strike three, it could be ball four, and and she's got to make the play. Our middle infield just we got to keep that ball in the infield. Coach, hey, coach, so this is Matt. Uh, what? Sorry, this this is Matt. I was just class. What did you guys learn from the? First game today, and what do you feel like it's going to take to, to win tomorrow and, and win a couple games tomorrow, I guess? Yeah, I, I mean, the, the first thing, we got to do a better job offensively. You know, I think we, we've got, you know, we had four hits. We had three or four opportunities to score runs. We had a couple stolen bases. It, it's about getting the time to hit. I, I think, you know, we got to shorten up a little bit and be able to get the barrel to the ball in, in those situations. Uh, they have two pitches. They, they have – you know, uh, another drop ball kid that throws about 67, 69 kill foil. So we got to be prepared for fouls or kill foil tomorrow. But, you know, from an offensive standpoint, we've got to get the timely hits, keep getting the base runners on, giving ourselves opportunities. Uh, from a defensive standpoint, we got to keep their speed off the base. We got to, we got to make them, uh, the slappers hit the ball by us. We cannot let them beat us in front. Coaches Todd in like? Granville. Uh, Amelia and Reagan were, were really good, but what was your thought process on how long you could wait to bring Valerie in? What, what was that decision like? Well, I think the biggest thing is, is um, you know, Millie, her changeup wasn't fooling them. You know, they were fouling it off. And, uh, you know, so that was the reason we went to Reagan because Reagan and Millie kind of complement each other. And Reagan's more of a power pitcher and hits her spots. Um, Reagan just, she couldn't get the ball down today. Typically she's right at the knees inside, outside. And tonight she had the ball up a little bit and, uh, you know, it's been a while since she pitched, but, um, you know, and she, she felt like, you know, she was trying to make the adjustments, but it wasn't happening. And, you know, that last walk, we just felt like it was time. Uh, Valerie's ready to go. And, and, um, you know, when, when you have Valerie, you don't want to set her, keep her sitting over there if she's ready to go. So it, you know, the decision was, you know, Megan and, or Reagan and Millie gave us the opportunity to get to that point in the game. And now it's time for Valerie to take over and finish the job. We have time for two more. What is what is Ainsley Gilstrap's experience meant for you guys in this tournament? And what did her bat mean for you guys today, helping you get past Troy? It's been huge. You know, I think, you know, Ainsley's experience and her leadership have been invaluable to our program. Uh, she's just that type of player. You know, every time she steps on the field, she's going to give you 110 um, percent. You know, she bounces back after mistakes or bad at bats. And that's what she did today. You know, she was pressing a little early in the game. And, you know, the last time up when we needed that those insurance runs, she came up, and you know, hit a uh, very hard hit ball off the pitcher for critical RBI in that game. And that's what you expect out of your leadership is to come up in big time situations. And Hansley has done that all year long for us. Coach, I think if you look at the 6 nothing score in that Alabama game, it doesn't really indicate how well Valerie pitched. I mean, they, they really didn't hit her hard the whole game, had a lot of infield uh, hits, bunts. Uh, even Hemphill had a, a bloop single for, for a run. Um, how frustrating, I guess, was that? And um, have you already decided whether you'll use Valerie in game one tomorrow? You know, obviously, you know, against a good team, um, you know, you, you got to make sure you can – you know, seal the deal and, and close out innings. And we didn't do that against Alabama. And fast pitch softball, sometimes it's the, it's the chop over the head. It's the flare. It's the, the swinging bunt. Some of those infield hits that kill you. And, and I think that Alabama game was very indicative of that. So, like I said, we got to do a better job of keeping their speed off the bases. Um, you know, give Valerie a chance. Give our offense a chance, which I think we did for the most part of that first game today. But – We'll make a decision tomorrow morning to see how everybody's feeling, but I know that every one of our pitches will be ready to pitch tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. Up next, we have Ansley Gilstrap. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Mm -hmm. And we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Hey, Ansley, Alex Dodd from the Clemson Insider. What does it mean for you guys to be able to advance and get another shot at Alabama tomorrow? It's a, it's, it's really, really awesome. I knew just when you were gonna ask me that question. You know, it's hard to put that that question into words. What it, what it means. Um, you know, I, um, there's no game after that if you don't win. So, 
you're gonna go just give it everything you got and and it's awesome just to be able to play Alabama play here it's a legend and it's just a good experience um good opportunity and we're gonna get to go have some fun Ansley Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Uh, that first game against Alabama today, um, I just asked Coach about it. How, how frustrating was it for y'all as a defense, despite how well Valerie pitched? They just were able to get a lot of uh, – seemed like the ball was bouncing their way a lot in that game. Yeah, I guess that's a uh, home field advantage maybe. Oh, it just seemed like it was <laughs> over the head, off the handle, uh, blooping over the – it just – it was definitely a, a little frustrating, but that's the way the game goes, you know. Um, that's what we needed to. Oh, yeah, we don't necessarily need to hit home runs every single game. They're, they're definitely nice, but we just got to put the ball in play, make something happen. Um, I think we had 16 strikeouts. That's that's not going to do it. <laughs> so just try to get the ball in play a little bit more tomorrow and, and try to make things happen. What was working for you in the at the plate in the second game? You were able to have a couple of RBIs and two big hits. Sir? What was working for you at the plate in the second game with those two big hits that you had? A, a lot of motivation, you know, like there again, for me, there is no, no more games. I know some of the kids, some, we have a really young team that, you know, they, they lose, the, they'll get to come back next year. For me, there's no next year. So um, just, just making them make, maybe play more loose than anything, you know, um, have fun, enjoy the moments. You know, you're not going to get it, uh, get the opportunity again. So just enjoy it. Um, you know, you can. I've, I've been doing this for a long time. I know I can do it. Sometimes it doesn't always happen, but just um, remembering those times that I have gotten it done and um, just thinking about those more than just the negative, staying positive. Ansley, how cool was it to see uh, Mojo, of all people, to, to come up with that big uh, leadoff pinch hit double to kind of spark your offense? Oh, we freaking love her. She's probably one of the clutchest pinch hitters got to be in the whole country. Just and whenever she comes up it's, to pinch hit, it just is so every like the crowd stands up. Everyone gets so, so hype and it just it, it motivates any, everyone, even even if she would have gotten out, we probably still would have been just as hype and, and gotten it done. But but the fact she got it done made it just even even more better. She she's a great person. You love you love to see her succeed. She's been through so much at su such an early age, too. She's going to do great things. Ainsley, this is Todd Shaughnessy. Uh, the defense wasn't perfect today, but I thought th from the second to the fifth, there was one play every inning that seemed like a game saver. Did it seem that way to you? Yes, sir. Um, I know we talked about it before the game started, uh, that it's been a long season. It's been a long day already. Obviously, you're not always going to feel 100%. You might feel 75%, 80%. We talked about, hey, if you're only feeling 75 80%, you give 100% of that 80%. And I think that definitely showed. We didn't always make the plays, but um, we, we were uh, able to, to have each other's backs. Um, when someone else made a mistake, um, we were able to, to bounce back and you could see none of the, none of the mistakes were made for lack of effort. Everyone gave everything they had and, and that's what you love to see. Ansley, the, uh, the ESPN commentator against Alabama um, mentioned that uh, she, she thought that uh, there might be some sign stealing going on in the Alabama dugout. Was there any talk about that with y'all? We didn't talk about it much. That's definitely part of the game, too. Um, you could hear it a little bit. Um, the call was coming in really late, so I don't think it, it mattered as much. Um, it might have it might have frustrated people a little bit just because you could hear it. But I, I think tomorrow we'll, we'll know that a little bit more now that that's going to uh, – anyone wants to get an edge on, on Valerie. If, if you can pick some pitches or whatever and know what's coming, that will definitely help out a little bit. So, yeah. Um, Know that coming in for for next game uh, uh, tomorrow, and then we'll be ready for it. Got time for one more? What was it like facing Fouts today, and what, what do you feel like the key is for you guys tomorrow to have some success offensively? We haven't seen quite as, as much speed as hers on um, this season, so now that we got that, we I think I think we were starting to time her up pretty well. Um, next, we just got to make sure oh, a little bit better pitch selection, you know, making sure we attack that first good pitch because then from there she'll, she'll work the ladder, go higher, higher, more out, more out, and um, get us chasing a little bit. Um, but she's definitely hittable. We can do it. Uh, we're a good hitting team. Uh, we bring our A game. We can beat anybody. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Phil.